talked earlier about the body being an agent of, of, of uh, impairment, which really might be called psychosexual disability and, and so on. And disability studies and disability politics is not about what the body looks like, but about social processes around different bodies. Looking at disabilities and accessibility around Rhodes' campus, there are some changes that we can see. But the inclusion of ramps as well as elevators is not enough to raise awareness around disabilities. Located in the admin building is the Office of Equity and Institutional Culture. The office focuses on issues of transformation and has been working towards creating a space in which both students and staff can freely disclose and live with a disability. I think all we need to do is really stretch our definition of disability and then we'll realize that all of us in one way or the other have a disability. For somebody who's got a mental disability, what does it mean in terms of their processing? What does it mean in terms of our assessment? You know, are we assessing them in the same way that we would assess somebody else? What we have tried to introduce, and this has been introduced successfully in the past two or three years, is that if on the actual application form to Rhodes, there is an insert which is aimed at persons with a disability who want to disclose. The disability is the inability to participate. It is not that the person themselves are coming with a particular, you know, they may have a mental impairment, which is, which is, is a physical situation. It's a, their ability, it's either a brain processing power, it's a psychological impact. All of those are particular impairments. But what then makes them disabilities is when our institution is unable to provide alternative reasonable accommodation to those students. I have depression, anxiety, PTSD, and I also suffer from like mild paranoia. 